Welcome to livingpianos.com. Robert Estrin here with an Ebach Semi Concert Grand Piano that I'm enjoying so much. Wait till you hear this piano. You know, it's so rare to find a top tier hand-built German piano in immaculate condition. Better than that, at seven feet, 10 inches, the sound throughout all registers is remarkably clean and clear with such a beautiful tone, a fluid, lighter action than you'd expect from such a big piano. I'm gonna start off, I'll tell you more about the Ebach and this piano specifically, but first let's start with the famous subtle prelude that starts the book, the, of book one of the Well-Tempered Clavier, the famous C major prelude. So you can hear the subtleties of expression that are possible on this instrument. So that shows you just a little bit about what this piano can do. Now, Ebach goes back, believe it or not, all the way to the 1700s. It's a seventh generation piano company, still manufacturing pianos in Germany. And this particular model was made for Richard Wagner, the great composer. And it's uh, a little bit of living history because this piano, even though it appears and plays like brand new, it was actually manufactured originally in 1914. It's been masterfully rebuilt, and uh, it's a joy to play. So let's have some more music. How about Beethoven? This is just the exposition from his Sonata in G Major, Opus 14, Number 2.
So you can hear the range of tone. I wish you could feel the smoothness of the action. You know, with a larger grand, the keys are longer. Not the part you see, but behind the fallboard. So there's an evenness. Usually on pianos, as you get closer to the fallboard, it's harder to push. Just like being closer to the center on a seesaw. You get such an even feel on a piano like this. I'm going to now play for you the opening statement to Chopin's third ballade. It's his ballade in A flat. And once again, the trademark of a great piano is having the control over the tone, which is why I've chosen this piece for you. So that's a little bit of Chopin for you. There's really nothing you can throw at this piano that it can't handle. The clarity is so appropriate for early styles of music and equally adept at a Chopin Nocturne or a Prokofiev Toccata. It takes it all in stride. A beautiful instrument. I'm interested in your opinion of this piano and welcome all your piano questions here at livingpianos.com, your piano resource. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.